Welcome to this first video for multimedia for the year and it's a start to build your website where you're going to put your whole term one assessment. Now I'm working on a school laptop at home. Open I have Dreamweaver just because it takes a few minutes so it's ready. We'll use that in a minute. Uh, let's just have a look at some of the Windows Explorer windows I've got open. Now if I have made this up at school you should have your bookmarks, your home folder, your school folder. You'll notice both the school folder and the bookmark folder are synchronized. So that's copied down from whatever I had at school. Now you can work at home, but it's much slower at home. You have set up in multimedia, you have set up your assessments folder, your documents folder, and in the assessments we've got the four assessments for the year. Term 1 we're doing the website, Term 2 and 3 is Term 2 we're doing two projects and Term 3 we'll do Flash. Term 4 is your HSC year. Uh, in the documents we're going to put any documents that we need. Now uh, as well as that I have got my SharePoint site open. I'm going to go straight into the class sites uh, and you'll note here that I have a site for, there'll be more here by the time you look, although you won't be able to see them. You'll only be able to see your own. So I'm going to go into, I'm working on a student file, on Sophie's file. I'm going to take action and I'm going to open with Windows Explorer. So now here is my personal SharePoint file as opposed to UDrive file. In my assessments, I've got uh, Term 1 Assessment, Website Basic. I don't know why my Word document is not there. This Word document should be there and I have got it open here. So I'm going to keep on working on the one I have. So uh, you should have a Word document there. You can open it from SharePoint. Okay, when it opens it'll have a, uh, you can edit it at the top, chances are you're just going to be reading yours. I'm going to edit mine if necessary on the way because I'm still right here. Alright, let's look at the top. We're building a basic website in your scratch drive, which we just looked at. Create the folders, we've just looked at them. So it should look like that. And I think it did. Where was it? Uh, it was this one. Okay, so that one notice I can just drag off the page and it squares up so that one looks like this one okay and I'm running that word document which is what we're reading right here alright copy or type this text into a new text document I need to write new there copy into a new text document a new text document and save as. Now I'm going to work from my uh, I'm actually not going to work from this file it's actually very, it's slow and I'm going to close it down. I'm going to work from my website basic I'm going to make that full screen and you can see that it's actually coming from SharePoint 241 that's from the SharePoint. Alright I'm going to right click here and new text document. I'm going to call it index. Sorry, uh, x. Sorry, x. Sorry, x. Let's go. Index. Now I'm going to open this up and I'm going to paste the text that we had. Save is Control S. Note that if you forget that you can just look it up. Control S save. Now I'm also going to save as and that is I'm going to save it as an HTML dot HTML save or enter. Okay let's have a look I'm going to close this one now and if I refresh this page I should have a, a text document and an HTML document it's taking a second. There we go. Now I'm going to open this HTML document and have a look at it. What does it look like? Oh, it looks like a very basic web page. Let's put that one over there. All right. 
Now, if I was to edit this document, I would need to open it in some sort of editor. Uh, I've already hooked up Notepad to my uh, computer. If it's not there, then you have to choose a default program, but we're not going to have that ticked. We're going to go into Browse because it won't be there, and we would go into not into program files but into Windows and Notebook. Right to slow down, Notebook, Notepad. You would pick that, double click or just select it, and there's Notepad. We can open in Notepad, we don't want to always open in Notepad, we'd normally want to open it in a browser, but just this time we're going to open it in a Notepad. Okay, alright, here's our text. Now let's suppose I edit this text. Uh, I'm just going to take that tag off the very front. I'm going to save it, Control S, and I'm going to come over here to my web page and I'm going to refresh my web page. Oh, look at that. It's uh, lost its format because it now doesn't know that this is a heading. If I put the tag back in, uh, then whoops, that's back to front. Let's put the correct tag back in. I must save before I refresh and also you can refresh with F5 and there it knows it, this line is a heading one and this line is just uh, one of the lines here let's just try and add in a second line now enter enter here is a second line control S and refresh Oh, the second line did not end up on a second line. That's a problem. So let, we have to learn a little bit more about HTML coding. We don't necessarily have to learn that here. We can use a proper editor. So I'm actually going to close my little notepad now and I'm going to right click on the index file and I'm going to open it with Dreamweaver. Now Dreamweaver is already open and here we go there's our very basic web page. If I split this and I go here, enter, enter, then we can see how the code changes. Separate lines and this is a line break. So I'm going to stop the video here. We're going to continue again with another one, but there's a start for you building your web page, your very first web page.